Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to download and install Arduino IDE. Let's open up our browser and then navigate to www.arduino.cc. This is the official Arduino website. Once you are on the website, you click on software. And in the next page, scroll down a little on the right hand side you see all the download options so you have downloads for Windows, Linux and Mac OS under the Mac OS there are two options we will click on the second one because the Mac I'm using is Apple Silicon if you have the older version of Mac which is uh, Mac uh, in which is Intel based then you may click on the first option so we choose the second one just click on it on the next page, if you wish to do so, you can donate anything. I will just click on just download. And this will begin the download process. So as you can see that the download file is roughly 200 MB. It's going to take a couple of minutes. So we wait until it finishes. As you can see the download has just completed. So now go ahead and double click on it. In the next step, you're going to drag this Arduino ID into the Applications folder. And that's pretty much it. So Arduino has already been downloaded. I can close this window so I can show you where is it located. So go ahead and click on Launchpad swipe right it is probably going to be a then and here it is just click on it it will take a second if it is the first time you are starting it then mac os is going to give you a warning just click on open and your arduino ide is up and running yeah, just click on OK so you can give permission to Arduino IDE to read and write files. That's pretty much it. Let me show you one more time. You close it. And now since you used it earlier, it is already available here on the bottom bar. You can click over here or again you can go back to the launch pad and choose the Arduino from there. So this time I'm just going to click on the Arduino IDE right over here and you will see that it did not ask you for the permissions again. So that's it. It was pretty simple and straightforward. In the next video, I will walk you through the ID itself and then we'll also learn to do some basic programming. Thanks for watching.